Today we're going to learn how to properly use a brush and give a base coat to our subject in our painting. Um, I put two colors together so that I can get uh, some different values in my painting as I'm doing this. And when I paint my subject, I paint the entire subject one color with the exception of the eye. I just go ahead and um, paint around my eye carefully. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load up the brush. And when you hold your brush, you hold it just like you're going to draw a pencil. Draw, draw with your pencil. And you do not touch the metal here. And you're not going to get any paint in the metal. And when you dip in the paint, you're going to dip in just a little bit. And sometimes there's drips when you dip in. So I just touch the inside of the cup one time. And that helps release any drip. So if you notice, I have a little bit of paint on my brush here on the tip. Then what I would do is I would hold my brush straight up, and the handle's actually kind of facing the ceiling. And you can either rest your palm or your elbow or your forearm here on the table as you paint. And this gives you more brush control here. That way I'm not just freehanding it. I have a little bit of a rest and then I can give full control. And I press down on the hairs and I let the hairs drag behind my brush. And I trace the edges. You could, and then I'm dipping in again. Now notice you only go a little bit and then you have to dip in again. Touch the edge every time. And so I'm going to use the tip of the brush here to trace this edge. Let the hairs drag behind and then I'm going to frequently load up, touch the inside of the cup. I'm going to carefully trace around the eyes. And then I'm going to smooth out back and forth any areas. So I dip, touch, trace my edges. I can do all the little things, the little horns. I go right over the nostrils. You can leave the teeth white as well. You don't want to paint in the teeth because you want to keep those white. And then I go back over and if I have any puddles, I fix them. So I'm tracing my edges. Okay, All the edges are traced and then smooth on the inside. Once you've traced it, go back and smooth out any strokes. You want to have the base background as smooth as you can. You do not want to have any brush strokes showing at this point. Just give it a smooth base coat. If you want scales with brush strokes later, you can put those in. Now any little tiny appendages, the things that stick out that you've done, you can paint those in as well. And sometimes, once you've done the whole body, let's get the whole body done first. Once you've done the whole body, I'm going to change the sh shape of the eye a little bit, too. I'm just going to paint a little bit over it. Once you've done the whole body smooth, back and forth, and I'm going all in one direction down, just to get it nice and smooth. Once I've painted it, smooth it all out. You don't want any puddles. Then you can even take your brush, a smaller brush, and fill in your little appendages that are sticking out. That helps with this stuff. And again, don't put too much paint on your brush, okay? And then you go fill in all of the body parts, every part that's there, okay? That's your first step in painting. 